or to go to the digital orthodontic. We have a, now a crisis. The crisis, uh, there are three on the horizon. For example, uh, remember the Smile Direct Lab or similar uh, companies to try to, to sell the aligners or the different types of um, different types of uh, uh, of appliances online, even for blenching the teeth, uh, even for the TMG treatment, even uh, appliances for the people who who present uh, sleep apnea. All the, the the different companies try to um, send your the appliances to the patient directly. Remember this, this is uh, the famous from Spencer Johnson, who moved my cheese? What is my attitude? What is my attitude uh, in relationship with the crisis? Now in relationship with the coronavirus, with the, because uh, the coronavirus, the crisis will change all our future. For this reason, it's very important to adapt our office to the new, the new technologies. Why? Because maybe today you are the best dentist in the world, but tomorrow you will wake up in a world that doesn't not exist. For the reason it's very important to adapt our clinic to the new demand. For example, who is shopping online? You can see here when we are talking about shopping, when you are talking, you can see here, okay, the millennials, eh, sh the shopping in the millennial online is close to 41%. Okay, for this reason, we have to focus in, we have to focus in different systems. You have to focus on what makes you different. And for this reason, it's very, very important in the office. In your office, it's very important to focus what makes you different. And for this reason, in my opinion, uh, there are, or in the future, two types of clinics. The clinics center in the Kyrgyz, this is the old clinic, and the new clinics center in the smile design. For example, this is a patient with this malocclusion. What is the treatment for this malocclusion? The ideal treatment for this malocclusion, the best treatment for this malocclusion is this, to extract the, 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 the roots, to clean the teeth, to align the teeth, to correct the protrusion, to close the space, and to open the to open space to put in the upper and the more in in the lower excuse me implants. This is the best treatment, or even the unique treatment. For the reason is very important because in the future with the digital orthodontic, we will have a lot a lot of information about the patient, about the three D cephalometric analysis about even in the Plameca 4D, for dimension, we have uh, information about the TMG movement, about the occlusion, about the functional occlusion, about the quality of the bone, the superposition of the intraoral scanner with the CBCT produce a big change in our uh, uh, orthodontic treatment. For the reason, can a GP, the general dentist, without orthodontic knowledge, to do a good plan of treatment in this patient is very, very difficult or impossible. For this reason, it's very important because more than 80% of the GPs of the general dentists don't have enough orthodontic knowledge to treat patients. And this is a huge problem because the main problem is this, most of the patients who need re big uh, restoration, normally this patient presents a big or big or a, a, an evident malocclusion. For this reason, Houston, we have a problem. The, the dentist has a problem. Uh, we, we have a, a problem because we need to increase the orthodontic knowledge in the GP, 
not only in the orthodontist. The GP, the general dentist, need a new focus of in the orthodontistry. For the reason in the, the conventional on old fashioned clinic is the carious clinic with the GP in the center of the clinic. In my idea, uh, the new clinic is the smile design clinic. The smile design included the treatment of the malocclusion, the treatment of the skeletal malocclusion, the treatment of the, 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 the muscular problem, the, the treatment of the sleep apnea problem, the treatment of the oral reading problem, and the smile design in the center of the smile design is, is the orthodontist. And around the orthodontist is the GP, the pedodontist, the pedodontist. I started many years ago to use Invisalign, to use aligners. Uh, unfortunately, many years ago, Invisalign and other companies uh, didn't didn't work, it was a complete disaster. We are talking about 15 years ago. Nowadays, the aligners, Invisalign and other companies works very, very, very well. It's very important too in the, in the use of the aligners, it's very important too to know the clean check, to understand very well the, the use of the attachment and the, the use of the ortho stripping. Okay, this is the typical patient with uh, with Invisalign with aligners. This is a, I put I need to put a lot of uh, of attachment and combine this attachment with a very good um, organization of the aligners. And at the same time, we need to do a lot of stripping. Okay, a lot of stripping. For example, patient like this within a is a space in the upper and a space in the lower, okay? And we need to close this space. We need to close this space. I put a lot of uh, attachment in the posterior part. These uh, attachment are for the stabilization of the liner for, because it's very, very important to understand this, to try to close the bite, in this case, an open bite. To close, to close the bite, to retract the lower incisor, to retract the upper incisor, and to close this space, we need two things. The first is the very good stability of the aligner in the posterior part, okay? And the second is the use of the, of the aligner during the life, because this is a patient with a typical um, osteodental discrepancy positive and maybe with the tongue is possible to reopen this space or to put in the lower, if, you, if the patient prefer to put a lingual um, port. Uh, at this, uh, many years ago, I used the aligners and with the it's my secret system, it's similar to another system. And we use this time only for cases like this, very simple. For example, in this patient present a lateral incisor with a little bit of protrusion, a crowding in the lower incisors. And we use, you can see here, the aligners to correct the lateral incisor and to align the lower incisors. Okay, the patient after, before and after the treatment. In all other cases, the patient come to the office to, to try to, to to align the teeth, to, to, to improve the smile, the smile design. And one of the big advantages of the aligners is the expansion. In this case, we use the aligner to produce expansion in the upper arch, expansion in the lower arch, and to move and to align the, the lower incisors. Okay, you can see here before and after the treatment, the use of the, the attachment in this in patient, in this case, tooth, the lower canine to produce a pro expansion of, with a point of pressure inside. And in the, in, to use an attachment to produce the, the rotation of this canine. Another patient with a class two division two, this is a very, very simple treatment and very effective 
treatment with aligners because the main objective here is to produce the protrusion of the central incisor, a little bit protrusion of the lateral incisor, increase the first point is increase a little bit the intercanine white to move the upper incisor and to put in the correct place. And you can see here, how is the evolution of the patient in the lower in canines, always we put um, attachment to control the rotation of this tooth and another patient. The patient wants to put um, dinners and we combine uh, to the patient to produce expansion of the upper arch, except in, the, in this part of the, uh, because the patient has a bridge here. And we use the expansion in the upper arch, the protrusion of the lateral incisor and to move forward the lateral incisor, alignment of the lower and the upper incisor, very, very important, stripping, stripping, a lot of stripping. Normally, the use of aligners need a lot of stripping and we use the mechanical ortho strip. Okay, what is the advantages of this? This is from the Nemotech company, and this is the you can compare, a start, and the evolution of the treatment. Okay, with different aligners, you can check in different colors what is the evolution of the, the of the aligners. Remember that one of the advantages of the aligners is the use of the with the use of the aligner is the, the, the uh, with the aligners is very difficult to, to found radicular resorption at the end of the trip. It's more dangerous in this sense, the wires and the brackets. Remember that the, the orthodontic tooth movement is an uh, inflammatory respond to the periodontal tissues, okay? Depends of the vascular activity and for the reason, the, the is this very important the the um, the bone resorption and the, the role of the osteoclast and the osteoblast and the and the uh, enzymes like a uh, rank and different products depends of the uh, the uh, bone resorption okay this is the the relationship between the use of the aligners and the orthodontic tooth movement the biomechanical and biological elements who play a very important role. And this is very important. The osteoclast in the use uh, with the intermittent forces in the, in the aligners, diminishing, diminishing the risks of radicular resorption of the apical radicular resorption in compare with the conventional brackets and wires. Remember this, when you put an aligner, it's the same, increase the, vas the permeability, the vasodilatation of the capillars, the neutrophilus change and produce macrophagus and cytokines. And the fact the cytokines play a very important role in the biochemical elements in relationship with the orthodontic tooth. For example, if you are using, if you take uh, pills like a, uh, aspirin or indometacine, remember that this produce an inhibitory process of the different elements in relationship with the prostaglandin system. For example, the arachidonic acid. Remember the cytoskeleton is a, a very important element in the new concept about the orthodontic tooth movement and the oxidonitrosus uh, synthesis Synthesis is very important in response to the pressure of the aligner in relationship with it. For the reason we try to reduce the treatment time is very important in our office. And for the reduce the treatment times is possible to break the biological or the biochemical uh, limits. Unfortunately, the biological limits, even the corticotomies, even the use of different type of appliance to vibrate and to move the, the teeth, the machines to try to stimulate the orthodontic tooth movement, no enough evidence about the use of these 
elements or even about the use of laser. We did a research with the chairman of the University of Santiago de Compostela many years ago, and we developed with a digital orthodontic a model of the mandible, even study the different elements with, uh, with the finite elements. We study the relationship between the biomechanics, the different brackets and aligners. And now we work with uh, OrthoPlus in research, innovation, design, and development. We, we uh, uh, analyze all, all of these elements. This is the printing, okay, the order to plus. This is the printing of, for the Alinea Dent. And this is uh, my colleagues from, from Alinea Dent, technician, engineers to work in different parts. We are starting to uh, analyze the biomechanical of the uh, fine, with final elements methods. This is a mathematical model. We analyze the orthodontic tooth movement and how is the morphometric, uh, the radicular morphometric, how is the how is the, the behavior of the of the of the root when we apply different types of um, of forces in the crown, when we have, uh, we use bite blocks, we analyze this part of different elements, how is the the relationship with the the with the periodontal ligament. And here is the same, it's very nice. This is the effect of the aligner and how is the effect of the aligner in the um, neighbor uh, teeth. For example, uh, when we try to rotate one incisor, one central incisor, we analyze what is the effect in the lateral incisor and in the other uh, central incisor or the other side. Okay, we design in, in relationship this type of, 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 we are analyzed this type of, of uh, attachment. For example, in this patient, we de de develop different attachment because we need to move this lateral incisor forward. We are using this attachment to always to the stabilization according with the third law of Newton, we use this attachment to, in, to uh, the stabilization of the aligner and move this lateral incisor in the upper and align the lower incisor in the lower. In the lower incisor, we need to do a lot of stripping. Or this is, a, this, this is an, an aligner in kids, it's the same. We are using in kids a lot of attachment in the four upper incisor to control the space between the molar and the lateral incisor and to um, design the, the special uh, eruption guys with aligners to um, get uh, to the best position the canine and the premolars. The different designs of attachment, the rotation attachment, a mix, this is a mix attachment to control the second order bands uh, in the canine and the premolar, and at the same time to control the rotation. We use the, the, the platform, and the, this is the platform from Alinea Den to, 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 to send the, the, the records, the digital records, and in the, after the, the send to the, the, the photos, the internal scanner is possible with this, this type of clean check to design uh, the result of the patient. Another very important topic in, uh, in our office in relationship with the digital diagnosis is the digital, the, the digital diagnosis and the digital plan of treatment the, of the treatment of the obstructive sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea is very, very important nowadays in the kids and even in the adult patient. Okay, I recommend to, to read this paper. This is a, it's a, a tooth, uh, 20, uh, 39, uh, uh, one year ago, American Journal of Orthodontic and Orthofacial Orthopedics. And this is 
an American Association of Orthodontist white paper. And I think it's very, very interesting. It's very strongly recommended that orthodontists be familiar with the signs and symptoms of sleep apnea. Very important for screen patient. Very important to refer the patient. It's recommended that the orthodontists refer, refer pediatric patient or orthodontic patient with nasal obstruction or anoidectomia and hypertrophy of otorrhino. Uh, it's very important to, to, to understand the training. We published many years ago with, uh, with my colleagues uh, a paper in 2005 about the evaluation of the intraoral appliance in the treatment of obstructive sleep apnea syndrome. Uh, nowadays, in, that, in, the, in the research uh, service of orthodontic, of my, my orthodontic service, we work together with OrthoPlus about the use of this type of appliance. This is, uh, you can see here, an appliance for adult patients. Okay, we use uh, the OrthoApnea is, uh, is a platform to design different appliance for a adult patient. This is the one model, and this is the new model. This is a new model for it's a new generation for intraoral device or dam to move forward the mandible during the night. And this new device is according with the, with the movement of the condyle, with the movement of the mandible. And I think it's very important because digital orthodontic comprehend inclu including this. This is from Phyllis, but there is a lot of different companies. This is a, a system to analyze in my office, in the, in the dental office, what is the risk of the patient to present sleep apnea syndrome, even for the kids and even for the young people or the old. I, this is very important, the digital design of the appliances, the digital diagnosis of this patient, of this type of patient. This is a patient with a maxillary collapse. What is the problem? The problem is the tongue. When the patient presents a maxillary collapse, the tongue is, is in, a, in a down uh, position and produce oral breathing. Oral Breathing, in my opinion, in patients like this with a very low, long face is a very huge health problem. And it's, for this reason, is danger. It's necessary to change the maxillary, to expand the maxillary, to, to do a rapid maxillary expansion, to change the anatomy or the morphology of the face, to change the position of the tongue, and to change the oral breathing. We use different types of oral breathing, even with the mini screws or with mini implants. We published with Professor Juan Cobo from University of Oviedo in February in 1992 in the Journal of Clinical Orthodontic, a very popular study about the use of the, of the different system to analyze the effect of the rapid maxillary expansion in the palate. For the reason it's very important to understand the, uh, the craniofacial growth, the counterpart and the part. If, if, the part. if you produce an expansion of the maxillary, increase the counterpart, and the counterpart is the, the, the upper airways. For the reason it's very important in this patient, to use different types of rapid maxillary expansion. In this case, is the La Rosa system. Uh, we use the second temporary molars, the screw, a little bit pieces of wires to, uh, to, push, to push the, the, the first molars, the rapid maxillary expansion, the spectacular effect of the rapid maxillary expansion, if you take a CBCT, or in this case, a conventional cephalometric uh, 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 teleradiography, 
frontal, and you can see the, the open the space, open the palate, open the upper airways. The most important mm, is very nice to see the new uh, arch form of the patient, the new development of the maxillary, but the most important is this, the face. You can see how change the face, how change the oral breathing, how change the complete morphology of the face thanks to the rapid maxillary expansion. For the reason in this case, in my opinion, I am medical doctor uh, and dentist. In my opinion, rapid maxillary expansion, the digital expansion of the maxillary is very, very important to understand the result. Another patient with a severe collapse, rapid maxillary expansion, rapid maxillary expansion, and please, please remember this, the dramatic change of the face of the patient. A patient with a complete different eyes, the complete different mouth, the complete different arenas, and you can see now with a very good seal of lips, change the, uh, the breathing and change all the face. I use in many cases from Leone Company, another type of uh, screws. This is uh, from um, Professor Lantieri, the Claudio Lantieri and my friend, and it's a very good. It's a, when the Lantieri a screw, you use a, a night tie piece, and nowadays even uh, eliminate the, the screw and use only this, the, this type of the, of the screw. And it's very nice because, because it's very comfortable. I, 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 the patient is not necessary to, for the patient to, to turn the, the screw at home, only put to turn the screw in my office every 10 days. And it's normally, we need 20 days is enough to, to, to get a very nice rapid maxillary expansion. Another very important issue is the, the top is about the, the oval patient. The oval patient with uh, the other patient with uh, night eye, why it's possible to use with this type of uh, night eye and rapid muscular expansion uh, to, to, or with mini screws. And in other cases, we use the digital appliance, digital appliance to use during the night and to, to avoid the use of the, in many cases, to avoid the use of the CPAP. Okay, the, the appliance is to move to is a, a device for uh, to move forward the mandible and to maintain the upper airway during the during the night. Okay, and we have different designs and different types of appliances. This is a very nice research. This is the digital research about the finite element method with the the mandibular uh, appliance device or a mandibular advances de um, device. And the idea of this ma mandibular the, the, the appliance is to move forward the mandible according with each patient, according with each patient, and to take the, the, the best position of the mandibula for, to have the nice opening of the upper airways. In other cases, we use the, the digital TMG uh, splints, okay? We use splints in the TMG uh, treatment, and we divide the patient in maybe the problem in, you know, in the TMG in patient is the problem is a mechanical patient. It's a mechanical problem only at the level of the TMG or at the level of the dental occlusion. In other cases, the main problem is a muscular and ligament problem. And the third case is a neurological problem. It's in relationship with the, uh, the, uh, the adaptation, with the emotion, and is uh, uh, in relationship with the psychological balance. For the reason it's very important to divide 
the TMG problem in three parts and to analyze the combination of each other. Okay, the, for example, patient who present problem at the, at the level of the teeth or problem at the, at the level of the TMG or problem at the level of the, of the muscle and the ligaments, uh, uh, the level of the psychological or psychological balance. And in my opinion, the bruxism is a, is a, during the night, is a huge problem. Why? Because the bruxism produces compress of the TMG, it, the same that the malocclusion with deep bite and collapse of the posterior molars, Reduce hypoxia, the hypoxia alters the chondrocytes function, alter the ground substance, and the loss of the chronitrine and glucosamine surface. The main problem is the loss of the, the collapse, the loss of the joint space, and the loss of the joint space for a biochemical and bio, biochemical and biomechanic. Uh, uh, Patao um, produce a second change. The second change included the articular deformity, subcontral sclerosis, subcontral cyst, synovial hypertrophy, and sub loop section. For the reason you can see in the CBCT of the TMG, a lot of problems with the TMG. Uh, you can see the loss of the structural integrity. In many cases, you can see the glasses of right Charles <laughs> in the anterior part of the condyle. This is the, the, the displacement permanent, the formation and permanent luxation of uh, without reduction of the meniscus. And this is a very bad, bad thing of the TM gene. And I like very much in this patient to analyze very simple in the first appointment, in the first appointment, very simple, the TMG. For example, the cotton test. The cotton test is very good. If you put a, a, a cotton test in the, in the, between the, the upper and the lower molars, the patient bite. And when you put the cotton test and the problem is a muscular problem, it's very painful for the patient but diminishing the painful, the pain of the patient when the problem is in a compress of the condyle in the retro discal area. We can use the digital records, a lot of typical, I like very much a very simple records like the Gothic arch, it's very, very cheap, it's very, very clear. I like very, very, very much like this patient we present after a, a on orthodontic treatment, I treated this patient many years ago, and now after the the TMG, after the excuse me the, the treatment, the patient come to my office with a problem at the level of this molar and present cracking, okay, and pain in in the area of the masetero uh, internus masetero and pterygoidea. We use the, the 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 different type of movement for the Gothic arch, check the relationship or the contact between the, the lingual cuspid of the, up, the upper molars with the lingual cuspid of the lower molars. And you can see here a very nice, nice uh, Gothic arch. This nice Gothic arch uh, indicates to us a very good function in the horizontal plane of the right and the left condyle without dental prematurity. For the reason I like very, very, very much this type of very simple. What is the ideal treatment in our office about the TMG? For example, this is a patient with a class, is a, with a deep bite, a TMG problem, present a retrodiscal area, and the, excuse me, pain in the retrodiscal area, and we, divide the, 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 the TMG patient in the first appointment, in the first minute, we divide in patient with a pure TMG problem, patient with a malocclusion in relationship with the TMG problem, 
a central nervous system problem or psychological problem or psychological imbalance. What is the main problem of this patient? Very simple. The main problem of this patient is the retrusion of the upper incisor produce a, co a, co a compression of the retrodiscal area. What is the best treatment? The best treatment maybe is to put in a split, but we have a, 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 we have an, a, 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 a different uh, a, approach to the to use to use splint in all patients because this is a problem. You have a very good diagnosis, but all the patients use a splint. Now, in this case, the idea is very simple. The first step is to move forward the upper incisor. Okay? The first step, the first step after the use of the pills, the uh, the pills or something, the the emergency treatment. But the, the, I don't like to use in this case the splint. The first the step uh, uh, before the splint is to use a removal plate, very simple removal plate. This is a um, not digital, but it's now it's possible to do this digital. What is the secret of this removal chip appliance? Only one question, a very good design and please use good materials. Don't use the horrible stainless steel from the technicians, use LG Loy. Use good uh, wires. Use a uh, stainless steel of a very good wire. Okay, I put the excuse me. I put the I put the removal appliance. Even here, I put a little of composite here and here. Put the composite to retract the lateral incisor. After the use of this in the lower put bracket, because for the patient it's not a problem to put only in the lower, not the patient hate to use brackets in the upper. The next step is to use a white wire with the, with this tubes of the static tubes. I put the composite of this more or less the same color and finishing with an alignment. And I think it's a very, very interesting because this is in a very simple approach. We using at the end few number of aligners and the patient is very, very happy with an invisible treatment in the upper arch, but then to avoid the use of a lot of aligners, I prefer to, to use a removal plate at the start of the treatment. In many cases, I use this. For example, in patient to do expansion. I prefer to use in many cases a removal plate to do expansion at the start of the treatment and use after the, uh, after the use of this re removal appliance is possible to use an ally. Okay, for the reason we have, uh, we use different types of uh, systems, different types of software about the photo, about the CVCT, the combination between the CVCT and the intraoral scanner uh, is very nice. This is the our technique. This is uh, the scenery bracket we combined with the with the CVCT. This is a very very old photo, maybe I don't know seven or eight years ago. Yes, eight years ago we, we used it in with um, Miguel Angel from Nemotech use this type of set. For example, it's very useful for this to, to take a decision about the extraction of the of the expansion. For example, in patient with a loose of the alveolar bone, uh, different types, okay. Uh, for orthognatic surgery, uh, for orthognatic surgery, okay, for a um, setup and mock-up, uh, for set up and mock up, and we can use a lot, a lot of, of a lot of, uh, a lot of systems like this. Okay, different systems to to show you the use of the intraoral scanner, the use of the intraoral scanner. Uh, 
the design of uh, your smile. Different the, the, the we have a, a, a bank of uh, teeth with different type. The very important to analyze the proportions between the central, the central, and the lateral incisors. Okay, to get a you can select a, a, a different uh, software in the market about this. And it's very useful in orthodontic, but remember without orthodontic is a problem because uh, in most of the cases you need orthodontic treatment before, before to use dinners or crowns or aesthetic crowns or different designs, okay? It's possible to do in, in the two dimensions, in the, in the lateral top, or it's possible to do with a 3D in the real position of the patient. Uh, the different uh, program of this is, I think is, um, I think the, I don't know, maybe this, this is from Plameca, is to take a decision about how to move the teeth it's possible to move the teeth for the, for the mock-up first, to do the setup, and to use this, this mock-up to design, the, to, to show to the patient the result of the treatment, to design the, the aligners, to, to, do, to put the indirect bonding of the patient, to put brackets and wires. Okay, different types of, of this. There is a different types of, of uh, programs. And this is a question to take the, the program and to work with, with, the, with it. This is another, another software this is from three three shape three shape is a very very good brand uh, to the to take the models to the connect the connection between the scanner and the model to do the binners or prothesis to put in implants in the in the plan of the treatment to put brackets we have uh, the, the brackets from our technique okay and we are we have the scenery uh, the digital synergy with the synergy, the wires, and the use of the micro implants. Uh, in my technique, uh, the, the most important characteristics is this. This is a conventional bracket. In the conventional bracket, presents a lot of biomechanical problems. The main biomechanical problem is the is not possible with the conventional brackets, even with the self ligating bracket, to put thick wires at the end of the of the at the start of the treatment we need to put two three or more round wires mm, uh, before the the to put uh, 90 by 25 if you are using for example 22 a slot and this is the the, the advantages of the synergy synergy is a very mm, well known and very old bracket was uh, designed more than 20, 15 years ago, but it's a spectacular bracket in my opinion, because works very well uh, at the start of the treatment. In the strike wire low friction in our technique, the second arch wire in our office is always 90 by 25. What is the advantages of the synergy is this very simple. 
is possible to select the friction. It's possible to select the orthodontic tooth movement, tooth by tooth, only changing the ligature. It's very cheap, very easy. If you put ligatures in the center, in the figure of, uh, in the center, in the figure, in the center only, uh, the, the friction, according with the research, is close to zero. It's the same like the scenery cube. And if you ligate in the figure of AX or in figure of eight, increase a lot the friction and diminishing the slide. I think it's a, it's a for this reason, it's a orthodontic, Differential movement. In, for example, in this case, we need that the the, the twenty-one uh, tooth move medial without movement of the other incisor. Put the ins first in this situation and now in this situation. What is the advantages of the daemon bracket? Is this the daemon bracket or the self ligating brackets or the carrier bracket? Self ligating brackets present the, the advantages at the start of the treatment, the big advantages of the sliding, a very good sliding. Is the synergy, and the synergy is the same. We ligate in the center, and when we ligate in the center, we get a very, very quickly movement with very important and different with self-ligating bracket. Very important with thick rectangular H wires. Now it's time to finish in the treatment. What is the problem of the, the, the self-ligating bracket? The main problem of the self-ligating brackets when you are finishing the case is the lack of friction. In the synergy, you put now ligature in a figure of conventional or in a figure of eight to control the torque. Now we are working in this strawar low friction indirect bonding. We are using the indirect bonding for the attachment of the synergy bracket. You can see here in a patient. And we are now, we are uh, working in the automatic selection of arch wires according with the deformation of the wire according with the irregularity index of the patient and according with the uh, alloys character the alloys characteristics according with the thermal uh, or the biomechanical uh, uh, behavior of each wire for the reason and here for example is the when we start the treatment we with the strike wire low friction we analyze the angle of the deflection, the relationship between the angle of the deflection, between the irregularity in this of the patient, and according with the, the diff, uh, according with the, the irregularity index of the patient, and according with the, the, the graph. For this reason, it's very important to un, uh, understand what is the repercussion of the digital, uh, the digital system in all this patient. What is, this is the big advantages to start the treatment with, in many cases, with 90 by 25 night type wire, thermal wire. Cases like this with a class three malocclusion, it start with a, with a removal appliance. I like very, very much the removal appliance. The removal appliance and the digital removal appliance is cheap, is very, is spectacular because the treatment in many cases like this, this is a TMA wire. This is a not very bad stainless steel. This is TME wire and we are using this removal appliance to retract the lower incisors and to produce the protrusion of the upper incisor. Now it's time to use an utility, protrusion utility arch wire. And now we are put the in the bonding and is the braided stainless steel 90 by 25 in the upper and in the lower, short and heavy elastics and finish, finish the treatment. Finish the treatment. Another patient, another class three, edge to edge with this hypoplasia of the maxillary. Okay, class three, protrusion of the upper incisor and the lower incisor, 
the first step is to edge, open by, class three, hypoplasia of the maxillary. What is the treatment sequence? The first step, the same digital orthodontic appliance, okay? We produce a removal appliance to produce the protrusion of the upper incisor, protrusion of the lower incisor. Now, I like very, very much, like very, very much the concept of rickets about the utility arch. Okay, I show you later when we are going to talk about the uh, incisional uh, eruption proprioception guys, is the same philosophy. The only in a step to use brackets and wires and bands or utility wires, we are using aligners, but it's the same philosophy by rickets. We are using now a facial mask. In this case, the facial mask is for the dental movement, no for the orthopedic movement. It's for the dental, dental movement. Okay, and now it's time to finish the first phase of the trip. It's time to the break time, to the break time, and unfortunately, the patient after the break time present a canine included in the palate. Okay, we use now the gum metal. It's a spectacular wire to, to, to for for the equilibrium between the elasticity, okay, and the and the st stiffness, and also because the gum metal is a very very is very simple. To bend is very simple to bend. In this case, we bend the gum metal to create is to create to control the torque of the of the 23 of the canine. You can see here how we can control the torque to move the the root of the canine to 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 the vestibular. We are using now intermaxillary elastic, heavy intermaxillary elastic. In, class, in triangular class one L and in, in class L3. Okay, a stripping in the lower and a stripping and finish. You can see the, the control of the torque is very difficult. For example, with aligners to control the torque. I prefer to use in this case, the classical wires and brackets. Finish the treatment, finish the treatment the sequence of the treatment with the first phase of the treatment, the break time and the second part of the treatment, the follow-up of the patient years after the treatment, okay? And the follow-up without periodontal problems in this patient. In other cases, we use a very a trick, a trick, and the trick is use this wire, or even is possible to use um, white, white wire, and use the the white wire to to uh, to to combine with a, a small tubes, uh, aesthetic tubes, for for example, in this case, to align the upper incisor, to align a little bit the lower incisor, okay, and to combine with a periodontal treatment and periodontal treatment and the, is, uh, another case. Okay, another question, very important, the neuromarketing in the design of the smile. What is neuromarketing? Well, neuromarketing uh, is, a, is in relationship with the new researches about the technologies to see the, the different process of the brain like uh, magnetic resonance imaging, the functional magnetic resonance imaging, to study the brain's response to the marketing stimulus. We have uh, three parts of the brain, the reptilian, the limbic or emotional, and the cortex, the rational cortex. The Roca rational cortex was described for Santiago Ramón Cajal, a famous Spanish a doctor, a Spanish research, Nobel Prize in 96. We have the conscious uh, brain, the unconscious brain, and the subconscious brain. This is the hard driver 
the feelings, the emotions, the behaviors, the habits, the permanent memory. This subconscious is very, 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 very important. It's very powerful. It's very powerful. And you can see <clears throat> that 90% of the time, we are working with our in subconscious and fast system. What is fast and, and slow is according with Daniel Kahneman, is a Nobel Prize, is a, is a psychology, but this is Nobel Prize is very funny in economy because it's the take of decisions in economy in many cases is very crazy. And according with Daniel Kahneman, there are two systems. The system one is fast, instinctive, and emotional. And the system two, that is slower, more deliberative, and more logical. Unfortunately, we are working 90% of the time with the system one. And the patient in our office is thinking with the system one and the patient and the patient and the people when we are going to to to, to shopping is with the system one the system two is now we have a lot of system two in the with the coronavirus in in, in inside of the house the system one is fast is, is uh, full of prejudice false perception stereotypes and a halo effect. And it's very easy to run. For this reason, this is the system one and the system two. Remember this, the system one is very important for the page for to, to, to take a decision in the patient in our office. Our brain is lazy, emotional, more rational. 90% of its operation is automatic. It likes the emotional shopping, and the emotional shopping produces to our brain pleasure. And the neuromarketing study what is the back door of our brain. For the reason when a patient come to the office for an orthodontic treatment and said, oh, I divorced, and now I like to have a new spectacular smile. Is completely different. This patient, that the patient who come to the office and said, "Oh, I have a problem with my tooth. Please treat my tooth as as, 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 up, as soon as possible and more and cheap." Okay, this is completely different. <clears throat> the first patient is an emotional patient. The second patient is a rational patient, and it's very important in our office because the emotional patient, the patient who said. I would like to have a new smile with veneers, with orthodontic treatment. It's completely different to the, I have only a, a problem here in my tooth. Why is important? Because we have in our office only 20% of the emotional patient. But the 20% of the emotional patient produce the income of our office, the 80% of the income of our office. The question is, not to increase increase the budget of the of the patients. The question is to select the patient. Why? Because the emotional patient wants the treatment for emotional reasons to increase the the the, the happiness. The emotional patient do not buy what they need. Buy what they want. Excuse me for that. For example, if I am going to sell a periodontal treatment, I need to talk with the cortex of the patient, with the rational part of the patient. Why? Because the rational part of the patient is in relationship with the losing, to losing teeth, to losing a, sec a guarantee, or to losing money for the reason we use a piece a small piece in the casino, okay? For this reason, for the, when we are talking about periodontal treatment, we need to talk to the quarters of the patient. But when we need to sell aesthetic treatment, pinners or orthodontic treatment, we need to, to talk to the limbic system or emotional part of the patient. 
Why? Because the static treatment is in relation with the emotion, with the happiness, with the feeling, and very important, with the self-esteem of the patient. And is in relationship with the allo effect. It's a type of immediate adjustment discrepancy or a cognitive bias, where a person making an initial assessment or another people, you know, today is very frequently because we have a lot of contacts every day, and not today, <laughs> in the normal life, will assume ambiguous information based upon concrete information. For example, when the, in the patient a smile and um, the person is, is, is thinking in jowls, social status, smartness, loveliness, with sexual success and different, different, different properties. For the reason, uh, for the, this is very important. The, this, this concept about the, the, the association is very important. For the reason, the, in, the, in the business, try to uh, the association between the racket and Rafa Nadal or the boots and Ronaldo or the boots on the, in the ball uh, the football and with Messi. What is our feeling about these photos? The feeling of the people is not only about the smile, uh, the, the nice smile. The feeling of the people is thinking in these photos about what? About happiness, lovely, successful, everything that the people want to uh, improve in his her life. For the reason the, this, uh, this uh, you are thinking in loose weight, you hate this type of anatomy. Why? Why do you like this? This is an absurd because it's very young, young girls try to get to lose weight. It's absurd. But the question is about the limbic system and the question is about, about the desire. Desire is the most important because when a patient come to the office for a beer to put whitening or to, 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 for, for, to, to use a blanching, this is an emotional patient. Do not buy what they need, buy what they want. And 20% emotional patients profit in our office. 20% of our emotional patient in our office reduce 80% of the profit. How to transform the emotional patients, rational patient in emotional patient? Wash the brain of your patients. You must to transform the rational patient into emotional ones. For example, this is a patient this is a real patient who comes to my clinic office many years ago and ask uh, for a dental treatment. Okay? okay, dental treatment. I suggest uh, orthodontic treatment, vestibular. No, okay. I suggest lingual treatment, orthodontic lingual treatment. No, oh, because the lingual treatment maybe is very painful for my tongue. I recommend veneers. Oh, no, because you are. A, bleeding and uh, feeling my, my, my teeth. Blenching, oh no, because it's very painful. Maybe in the, uh, uh, after the, uh, the blenching is very painful when I try to, to drink uh, cold water. No, no, no patient. What is the, this type of patient is terrible. What is my problem? My problem is I am talking with the cortical brain of this patient. I need to talk with the emotional, with the limbic system of the patient. The first step is, the, um, is to the decide a, a smile decide. The smile decide is the anterior boundary of the smile, upper incisor position, a skeletal problem, dental problem, okay. The first step, cephalometric analysis, please to organize a very good smile design, we need a cephalometric analysis to 
to analyze the position of the upper incisor and the future of the anterior limb limit of the of the smile in relation with the face of the patient, in relation with the nasolabial angle of the patient. For the reason that the first step is to analyze the position of the incisor, the nasolabial angle of the patient is very important, the nasolabial angle of the patient, because it's in relationship with the skeletal position of the maxillary and with the inclination of the upper incisor. For the reason it's very important in physical guide in relation with the TMG and the future to avoid problems with the TMG and at the same time with a nice smile. It's very important to analyze the, the lower nasolabial angle, the position of the overjet and overbite, the position of the upper incisor, very important in my opinion, this measurement. The inclination of the upper incisor in relationship with the true horizontal or the Frankfurt line in relation with the anterior face line or the true the vertical line, the interincisal angle, and you can complete this uh, very simple measurement with different types of measurement like this. For the reason we analyze the point of contacts, the point 50% between the central incisors, 40% between the central lateral incisor, 30% between the lateral and canine, the Bolton discrepancy, the Bolton discrepancy, the position of the first molar, the incisal guy, the inclination of the second order bands of the lateral incisor, especially the lateral incisor, the torque, the third order bands, the curve of Monson and Wilson, the curve of spin, and the white uh, of the maxillary to uh, 45 uh, in, in females and 47 in males between the the central fossa of the first upper molars. The relationship of the first upper molars, the role of the rotation of the first upper molar, very, very important. What is the Andrews keys? The Andrews keys is the start with the first upper molar, the position of the relationship with the occlusion, the relationship, this point very important for the dynamic occlusion between the, the marginal uh, ends of the upper molar and the second lower molar. And the key of the second premolar is very important to finish the treatment with the second premolar in, 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 in a very, very good contact with the lower uh, first molar, like in elephant, remember, this is the guarantee, this is the guarantee, the guarantee with this key, the guarantee of the proper position of the first upper molar at the end of the treatment. Okay, the inclination, the difference point, the class one, the correct overjet and overbite, the correct uh, um, interincisal angle in the posterior part, very important. The the torque, the negative torque, negative torque. If you have a reduced expansion in the future with appliances in this patient, and you try to is increase the white of the smile of the patient, the patient needs a white. Forget to use thick um, veneers or, or thick um, mm, mm, crowns in this. You need expansion, dental expansion, even is sorry uh, sorry Dr. Yeah. David. we have 5 minutes left okay thank you okay and in this case one moment in this case uh, we have different uh, procedures we have to analyze uh, the the side of the of the teeth okay you have to analyze the side of the teeth and now is is um, is the we have the this is the model 
And now you, this is the model. We have this part uh, for the mock-up, for the digital mock-up. Put the mock-up in the patient. In the second appointment, I put a, a, I put a, a, a easel, something like to, to put uh, um, here, the composite, put the mock-up very, very quickly to put, remove the mock-up, put the, this is a, put the, Bond. the composite, and you can see the patient in the second appointment. You can see the, the patient in the second appointment and please check the eyes of the patient. Check the complete different concept now of the patient about the treatment. For the reason what is the successful of this case is to work in the limbic system of the patient. Thanks to the mock-up. And now it's time to finish to, to, to convince to the patient to, uh, to do uh, the, or the combined the orthodontic and the prosthetic treatment. Is uh, I need this treatment set and now the patient. And could you give me a credit? Because now the patient changed completely the mentality. This is the, another patient. Don't talk about teeth, talk about happiness. This is the key of the of the, your office. The same, another patient with this problem, the patient don't like to do beaners. Okay, I do this design of the smile. The, even the design of the smile is not very nice, you can see. Even is not very nice. I remove the effects of composite is not very nice, but this is very important. The patient said, oh, David, I love my new smile. I want this. Yes, but you don't like to, 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 to fill in your, your, your teeth for the pin. Oh, no, no, it's the same. I like this. Change the mentality of the patient. Don't talk about teeth. Talk about the happiness. For the reason, the same, another patient this is the digital mock-up, the digital mock-up. We design this, the smile. You can see the, the design of the smile of the patient. And this is the result. This is a, tri a treatment with Mighty Trujillo and Nani from Spain and Italy. We treated this patient in Madrid in Smile Life. And this is very, very, very important to change the mentality of our patient. Don't talk about the teeth, talk about happiness. If you have a, a, another problem is this, this is a, the emotional patient, hate the braces, and I have now <laughs> cases, but I don't have time enough. I have uh, cases with the, uh, the use of aligners and combined aligners with another uh, appliances. If you like, is finish, and uh, if you want uh, to do, uh, questions, okay. Okay, welcome everyone again. Uh, thank, thank you, you Dr. David, for this valuable uh, lecture uh, tonight. Um, my dear colleagues, uh, anyone who would like to ask a question, he can go to the uh, Q&A and uh, write down his uh, question. He can type it. Please go ahead, colleagues. Zumra'i al-kiram, ay hada bihib yis'al idhru ala section fi Q&A wa yuktub su'alo. No open questions till now. We are waiting. Okay. Dr. Shadi, if you have any Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Dr. David, for this valuable presentation. Um, we're waiting, maybe somebody is typing a question. Or is there any one of the members who would like to ask a question in person? Please, uh, you can raise uh, 
your hand through the blue button ونقدر نعملكم ان نيو تو اسك ذا كويستشن ان بيرسون اذا حدا مش حابب يكتب اذا حدا عنده اي سؤال على الموضوع اللي تحدث فيه الدكتور دكتور عدلي دكتور عدلي عنده سؤال يس بليز ثانك يو دكتور ديفيد فور يور نايس برزنتيشن Actually, I have two questions. The first question is about uh, the first question about the gum metal wires. What distinguish these wires, uh, and what is the advantage over the TMA wires? This is first question. Second question about uh, don't uh, tell the patient about the teeth, but about uh, happiness. Do you think that uh, all the time we uh, uh, this is ethical? We can do the right treatment for the patient. or just we will shift to another treatment just to make the, the patient happy, although this is not the ideal treatment? Uh, I think it's a, the, the first question is the gum metal is a, it's like a, it's a, something like TMA or beta-3 titanium. The advantages is that it's more, uh, it's more easy to bend. It's very easy to bend. What is the big advantages? It's possible with the same Uh, alloy different sizes to use only gum metal except maybe in patients that need a lot of control of the torque that you need to use stainless steel but i have in my in my new technique in a straight wire low friction with gum metal we use gum metal only for all the treatment to align use gum metal to leveling use gum metal to close in a space use gum metal and for finishing use gum metal this is the first question The second question is about uh, about um, the happiness of the patient. In many cases, the patient come to my office, even in my office, and put four, six implants, okay? But at the end of the treatment, the patient present the same uh, problem in the incisor without a liner, without, for the reason I, 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 I think that the, in, the, in many patients, the, the patient love Uh, the, for the patient, the best is to 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 have a, to has a very nice smile. This is the, in my opinion, except patient with problems to 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 bite or to eat. But normally, to 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 have a very nice uh, smile is the main objective of the patient. And for the reason, it's very important to uh, to combine the the the, the orthodontic diagnosis. The dental diagnosis, for example, a patient with different, who lose uh, different tooth, teeth, and uh, who lose different teeth, and in, to try always to get to the patient a good smile. This is my opinion. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. David. I think we have uh, another question, uh, Dr. Mu'ayyad. He says, can you please talk more about gunmetal wires material? So if you'd like to answer him live, please. About the gum metal, yes. Gum metal wires, yes. Uh, one moment, because I, uh, the question is, uh, I don't like to, to uh, because one more, one moment. Uh, sure. Moment. Uh, One moment. Okay, the the okay, one moment I have this. Just take your time, no problem. Okay. Uh, If you'd like to share the screen again for the presentation, there's no yeah, yeah, just one moment, please. Uh, okay, I need one moment. Take your time. Yes, uh, to take. Ah, it's okay. Where is the to put? Where is the green? I don't have. Uh, in the lower. Uh, lower right side. In the lower. In the lower. Well, in the middle. Share screen. <laughs> 
share the screen again. No, uh, one moment. I don't. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Yes, just Thank choose you. the keynote and yes. Okay, okay. Uh, the question is this: Is this is it, this is more or less about this? This is the this is the evolution of the of the wires. Stand still, night in all. The nitinol austenitic nitinol oil or super elastic wires, super elastic wires, and today the new wire is the gum metal. Okay, the gum metal present uh, a lot of advantages of uh, in relation with the force with the copper. And what is the dream of uh, Angle? In ninety in ninety seven, uh, uh, Angle said that they, maybe in the future is possible to do the orthodontic treatment only with one arch wire. And it's possible to do all the treatment with one wire, with one alloy, yes, with gun metal. What is the advantages of the gun metal? It's, it's very flexible. The relationship between flexibility and strength and, 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 and rigidity is very good. The, and the, the, another big advantage of this wire is very easy to bend into the mouth. And this is a, a, a big advantage. It's possible to use thick rectangular gum metal wire even at the start of the treatment. For example, when 90% of the teeth is in, in a good uh, alignment and only the problem is one, uh, one tooth, in this case, the canine, it's possible to do to use this wire and even to use this wire uh, the present different types of materials. And what is the, one more. And for example, this typical for this case, the patient present an open bite. I use a core for speed in the upper, a core for speed in the lower, a very a short, uh, heavy uh, elastics in the in, in anterior. And with this design of course of speed in gum metal is enough to produce intrusion of the posterior teeth, the premolars and the molars and without extractions. Or this patient with a severe problem, the open bite, when I check the patient, when I check the patient in, uh, when I check the patient in central relationship, you can see in the in the in the chair of the of the office. You can see the contact only at the level of the second molars. Okay, in this patient, we use the gum metal. I use these T loops from gum metal made of in gum metal and combine combine the anterior elastic and posterior elastic to uh, engage the occlusion. What is the advantage? Is this is very easy to bend into the mouth. It's very easy to adjust the occlusion of the incisor and the posterior occlusion. Uh, and this is the, the big advantages to this, uh, to treat this patient with a very severe deep bite. Okay, this is one ca a typical case to treat with gum metal cases with mm, difficult cases with open bite and with a differential uh, uh, level. Okay. More questions. Question two is Vardo. It's also from Dr. Mike Kain. Are memory shaped thermoplastic uh, aligners going to be introduced soon to the market? Excuse me, into the market? What did the. the Are memory shaped thermoplastic aligners going to be introduced soon? I don't know because uh, because in the last year, in the last, we are talking before all is before the coronavirus. Okay, before the coronavirus, there are a lot of new uh, the, the new the new products in, in, in new plastics and new polymers to to launch into the market. For example, the idea is to do the aligners without the resin model. And the second is to use this type of um, memory shape polymers. The polymers with a memory of, uh, uh, with a shape, with memory sh shape memory. And this is a new concept. This is, for example, if you are using a, an aligner, 
Invisalign aligner, or is like a plastic similar to the bottle, to the plastic bottle. The idea is completely different. You put the aligner and the aligner move the, move the teeth and maybe you, are, you need to use few aligners to correct a, a malocclusion. Okay, we have a question from Dr. Abdullah. Um, could you please talk more about the removable appliance that you used for the treatment of class three patients, stage one, asking about the design and wearing protocol and age of patient? Okay, uh, okay. I... One moment. Uh... One moment. Uh, this is very, very, imp... this question is very, very interesting. Uh, is because we are, I don't like to, to talk a lot of, of this, but the concept is the low cost appliances is very, very important. What is low cost appliances? Is aesthetic appliances low cost? Okay, for example, one moment. Low cost, how much do you mean you will charge? The low cost, <laughs> low cost, yeah, low cost, low cost is low cost, for example, in Italy, maybe low cost, but in Jordan, yeah, maybe yeah. no, no, low cost, low cost. I am, I am going to talk about this. One moment. I don't know where is. One moment. Uh, okay. I show you cases, for example. For example, imagine this. This is the this one more. This is a patient with the main problem of this patient is the maybe the patient presenting ankylosis of this tooth. Okay, maybe I don't know, and it's very difficult to to take a decision about to use a lot of aligners or even to put brackets without if the patient present this problem. What is the, 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 the treatment in my office in this case? In this case, the treatment of my office, because I have a doubt about the evolution of this, uh, uh, of this tooth, is possible, to, 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 is possible that the, the, the tooth presents an ankylosis and it's not possible to move. For the reason, my first uh, treatment is with a removal, a simple removal appliance. We use a removal appliance with a screw, a acrylic, a conventional, a conventional screw. The price of this screw, we are talking about the five, six dollars, United States dollars only, seven dollars. The, the wires, and now we are using, cut the, the vestibular arch and put a, a piece of composite. With a piece of composite and elastic change, this is an elastic change, in this case, it's from Rocky Mountain. With this elastic change and a piece of composite is enough to correct the incisor. At the same time, is, is a, the removal appliance works very well in adult patients. It's not true that the removal appliance works very well in kids. It's not true because the kids don't use the removal appliance. The removal appliance works very well in other patient. In this case, we use removal appliance and correct the main problem of the patient with this incisor. Now the patient said to me, oh no, I, I prefer to, to, to get a very nice uh, occlusion. And uh, okay, in this moment, start with the second part of the treatment. In the second part of the treatment, we are using aligners, okay, aligners to get a good occlusion. For example, in, in this space, in shim, we use the aligners to the lower to align the, the lower part. Okay. Okay, one moment. Another we, another we slide. We didn't see the slide, uh, Dr. David, that you were talking about. Ah, did you? The slide was not shown on the screen that you were talking about. Ah, okay. 
one moment. And ah, it's okay. Now it's okay. No. 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 What is the problem? No, oh, actually, now we see it. I think you were not sharing that particular window. We can see. Uh, okay, okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, we see, see it now. Yes. Ah, okay, 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 okay. For example, uh, oh, another quest, another patient is this patient. This patient, excuse me, this patient come to my office. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, with an open bite. Okay, this patient come to my office with an open bite. It's, it's, an, it's an adult patient, adult patient. It's possible to, to put a, a, a liner from the start, yes. But in this case, we use the a removal appliance, a simple removal appliance, like before you, you see the before, it's, a, it's a, with a screw, a very simple appliance with a, a, with a, um, elastic change, composite here to produce the extrusion of the teeth. And you can see with a removal appliance, it's possible to get to this situation. And now it's time to put alliance, okay? With the, my, the idea of the removal appliance in my office is diminishing the time with aligners. Why? Because the aligner is more expensive and take a lot of time in relationship with the removal appliance. This patient, in the, in the patient is, for the patient, it's not a problem to put brackets in the lower, but the patient hate to use brackets in the upper. What is, and, the, and we have a problem here. Instead to using a liner, I use a conventional removal appliance in other patients that works very well. A very simple screw. This screw is six, seven, eight dollars, American dollars only. The acrylic, this is from Orthoflex for our lab. Okay, expansion. And you can see the result of the treatment using only in the upper arch a removal appliances. Another patient come to my office and said, I would like Invisalign. Okay, do you like Invisalign? Yes, I like Invisalign. Okay, Invisalign is in my office about four or three, four uh, thousand uh, American dollars. Okay, do you like? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, but I, I prefer to use something more <laughs> cheaper for you and put a removal appliance, 90 United States dollars only, only. with a removal appliance with a screw, put in the lower a new design. I like very much this the type of design. We design my own uh, appliances. You put a redesign with a screw with an LG Loy uh, wires and a piece of stainless steel wires to produce the retention at the level of the molars. Now we put this, I like very much this. What is this? This is a conventional uh, screw with, um, with a removal. It's like, a, like the philosophy is similar to an align, the aligner, but using screws, 75 euros, about uh, 90. 85, 90 United States dollars. And with a very, very, very simple appliances and invisible appliances and the patient using only the these appliances at home and during the night is possible to get not perfect result, but a very, very, very good result. If you like a very increase the, 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 the results, it's possible to use aligners, okay? but. I think it's very different, the concept. And I, I talking about the low uh, cost appliances. For example, this is a patient who wants uh, aesthetic brackets, but what is the first step? The first step is, is to use this very simple removal appliance. Put a piece of composite here, an elastic, a very simple screw, um, a, a screw in a, in a fan uh, shape, 
uh, wires to produce the protrusion of the incisor. And this is the situation of the patient before to use aligners or before to finishing with, um, with wire. Another patient, class two, division two, okay, the forces, the patient present an asymmetrical mandible doing a TMG problem in the childhood. Why is the treatment? The main problem is the TMG, and the second problem is the sleep apnea for a, a retrognatic mandible. The first treatment, very simple, removal appliances. We are talking about the 80, 90, uh, 90 uh, United States dollars only in our lab. The protrusion of the incisor, protrusion of the incisor with these screws produce a little bit expansion. And now you can see the free movement, the spontaneous free movement of the mandible forward, spontaneous. And now we bend the wire. You can see, bend this wire, put an in in elastic, conventional elastic, put composite here. And with this and this, reduce the alignment of the incisor, the uh, unlock of the mandible, and a little bit the intrusion of the incisor. And finishing this case with aligners, eh? okay. And I think it's a good example to the use of removal appliances in this type of patient. I, I recommend to the all orthodontic societies to, uh, to, to all the, because the old orthodontic society is aligners, aligners, and aligners. Please forget, don't forget, excuse me, don't forget the use of removal appliances, especially in adult patients to treat the small, uh, 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 small problems in orthodontic. Okay. Okay, we have a question from Dr. Sharif. Uh, one of the problems regarding aligners is correcting rotations. Is this problem has been fixed by aligned dent? Yeah, no, no. The problem of the, uh, the okay. Uh, the, I think it's, it's very important to understand this. Aligners is for the etymological name, aligners. It's for align the teeth. The rotation of the canines, especially the rotation of the lower canine is very, very difficult with aligners. For this reason, I recommend, I recommend, please forget three years of treatment with aligners. To avoid very long treatment with aligners or very uh, unsuccessful uh, treatment with aligners, my recommendation is to treat the patient with different, um, with a combination of treatment. For example, when I have a, in a patient a lot of crowding, my first step is to put li uh, lingual brackets and second, start with the alliance. Um, it's not, um, I, I don't, I think that in many cases, the patient with, with a, a, a problem in the, in the central incisor, when the central incisor is in this, in this position, it's, it's better to put four brackets in the lingual, even brackets from the lower incisor, align the teeth, and second, to use the aligner. For example, I have, uh, uh, for example, I don't, uh, I, I, I don't have here cases, but. Uh, you put the same uh, lower anterior brackets lingually? Yeah. For example, he, uh, yes, I have this. For example, this is the typical patient in my office who are coming with uh, demand in Invisalign or demand aligners, okay? And I said, okay, no problem. This is a, it's not very difficult, but to finish this, to correct this divide, to rotation the premolar, maybe you can choose between uh, to use aligners only or to combine, okay? The patient is, what is my first step? Is to use a removal appliance with a screw and with this, this, this appliance work very well. I put these um, white buttons in the canine, okay? What is the objective of these white buttons is this. I put composite and only with a very cheap 
appliance with a very cheap appliance, I correct the deep by, produce the expansion of the teeth, and now I put lingual, is it a vestibular lower incisor brackets? This is the lower incisor brackets I put in lingual, and my objective is only to align the incisor. Forget the torque, forget the three dimensional control of the torque, only to align the teeth. In this case, remove the, the brackets. And you can see and finish the case. Uh, and this is this is the it's not very very exactly the midline, but it's okay. This is my philosophy of treatment. It's very important the low cost in orthodontic because the low cost in orthodontic and now in the future with the coronavirus, the low cost treatment is very important. And the low cost depend of the quality of the orthodontist. Okay. More questions. Okay, the next question. The best orthodontic software for aligners. Uh, I don't know. There is a lot. For example, a tree shape is good. There is a lot of, of aligners. Maybe the Invisalign is a very good, a very good uh, software. But for to make to make the, the aligners, maybe a tree shape is, is very good. Plameca is very good, different softwares. Okay, another question. How do you talk to patients that refuse braces? How to, to talk how, to patients? How do you talk to patients that refuse to put braces? How do you change their mind? Uh, okay, depends. Uh, depends, for example, when a patient come to my office and said, I hate brace, braces. Okay, I don't, I, 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 the patient come to my office and said, I would like Invisalign. And I, uh, I, I evaluate what is the malocclusion and what, what is the effectiveness of the aligner. When the patient presents a very huge uh, crowding and the patient won't only use aligner, I explain to the patient the, the limits of the use of the aligners, the limits and the time of the treatment. Because for example, imagine a patient with a, a, a severe crowding in the upper incisor, put brackets in the lingual, in the, in the lingual and maybe in two months is <laughs> okay. And now start with the, uh, with the aligners. In other cases, when the patient present, for example, TMG problems or it's a very difficult treatment, I explain to the patient that the, my best control nowadays is with brackets and wires. And this is a medical, I think it's very difficult, different. A medical treatment, that the aesthetic treatment. When the patient present a malocclusion and the malocclusion produces a dysfunction, we try to put uh, aligners. But in this case, I prefer to select my best appliance to treat this patient. No, I don't. One moment. Mark, I don't see or air two. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. 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 Perfect. Okay. Um, the question is the expansion with clear aligners. Is it tipping or is it real expansion? No, with the, uh, okay. With aligners in general depends of the case. Normally with the aligners is possible to move um, more uh, with control the torque better with the, with the removal appliances, okay? With the aligners, it's possible to control the torque of the teeth, okay? With the torque uh, elements, for example. Um, one moment. For example, one moment. We use the you we use for example for the for the in the in the in, in the in the upper incisor in the class two division two is possible to uh, control the torque with a with a uh, with a control of the rotation and it's possible even to distalize 
for the torque I would like to use in the in aligners. In aligners, it's possible to use a couple of one point of pressure and another point here to produce the the torque. The attachment, the attachment for the is possible depends of the use of the attachment to control the control of the torque of the of the the control of the torque of the of the teeth. Okay. For example, this is this is this part here is for the control of the torque of the incisors and to move backward there is, the root. There is no okay. screen showing. Mm, okay. Yes? The screen was not showing. No, uh, it's, 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 it's showing, I see it. You see it? Yes. Okay, let's go for the last question then for today. Um, thank you, Dr. David, for the nice presentation and excellent documentation from your experience with Alliance. What do you use as a quick method to close mild, to close mild residual anterior spaces and mild midline corrections? Okay, the, the midline correction. The midline correction is very difficult. In, 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 in general, the, my, the midline correction depends a lot of the diagnosis of the patient. In my opinion, when the, the upper midline, when the upper midline is correct and the lower midline is incorrect, a lot of, uh, in a lot of patients, the main problem is, a, is an incorrect position of the lower teeth and need to, in, in cases with using brackets and wires, use, use class two unilateral and in aligners use also to use a class two elastics. But the idea is very simple. In aligners is for alignment, okay? Okay, the idea is it's not very easy to treat a class two and unilateral class two patient with aligners because the relationship between the upper and the lower is a little bit different. For the reason I don't have time to, to talk about the, the uh, to talk about the, um, the anterior, the, the, uh, the proprioception guys. This, the, the, this is the idea. The idea is uh, to use the aligners to engage in class one at the end of the mixed dentition because in the other patient to treat class two or, or to treat class two and unilateral class two with aligners is very difficult, in my experience. Thank you very much, Dr. David Suarez, for this valuable lecture. We would like to have you again in the near future. Whenever you are available you. and free, just let us know. We have more topics that we will be more than glad for you to share with us. Okay. okay. Uh, my, dear, my dear colleagues, thank you very much for attending today, and we hope to see you soon. Um, thank you all for attending today. Have a nice day. Thank evening. you very much. Thank, thank you very you. much. To all. Thank, thank you, you, Dr. Suarez. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Stay safe. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>